All right, ladies and gentlemen, I want you all here gathered today just to talk to you about what it is to be single, what it is to be together, intertwined, twin flames, what it is to be in a relationship. Okay, don't get it twisted. I can tell that you lie. What do I mean by that? I can see it from Don't July. get it twisted. Is Yeah, I know. So you need to have a one shot way to go. This is my topic of the day. This is six. Part six. Part six is talking about, you know, the like mystics that. of the mind and like mysticism, mind over matter, like telekinesis. That. Will someone learn like such a thing? You can teach someone on you YouTube when it is arrived in a later time where someone is able to see. This is so the point of it? which it is to be what I'm pointing at. When you arrive in a single point, the pinnacle of mind, the six dimensional beings, this is where the story is behind. These six dimensional beings always see before you do. Ahead of time, you can call them your future selves, for lack of better terms. The terms and conditions they're in right now. So, you have to understand the point that I'm making is tied into the point now. I have to turn my music off now. The point is the six dimensional beings can manipulate reality and alter it in a negative in a negative way. When they point out there is an error that you've made, they can jump ahead in time to mess it up. I'm telling you the truth. There's six dimensional beings allowing you right now to perceive realities that are true and that are fake. To be deceived is the one who does not know. The one who does not see does not know. That doesn't mean the person that does see doesn't know or doesn't know. The person who sees will either know or don't know. I'm serious. Say less. Okay. Back to my point. Now, I'm in six-dimensional hyperspace. I am in my own six-dimensional field of awareness. I am singular, singlifying <clears throat> my point of existence as me expressing myself in my own unique way to the universe. The fourth dimensional field, which the ladies and all that want to tie it into when you talk about nine. The, ga- the, ga- the, ga- the galaxy, the council of nine, Orion Council, understands this policy that you may not go against the rules. And this is my thing with the council of nine. I'm inaugurating this to be uh, in the ballot, a vote. When you vote, vote for the one that you particularly know to be more serving of you. When a person is elected, named Biden, futuristically, but present time, when Biden was elected, I saw the the, the videos, I saw it on the news, it's not... mm -hmm. It's not crazy. Okay. Before you you little did you know he's making history. Okay? He's making history. You have to understand who you voted for. <laughs> the ballots, they they control that shit. I'm going to tell you the truth from my perspective now. 
They can control and manipulate the ballots. They will organize or straight. Getting to the point, they can change the ballot numbers. The ratio, the percentage. You don't vote for you really vote for. They choose. They don't give a fuck who you vote for. That's how Trump got in office. That's how Obama got in office. That's how, that's what they call the chosen ones. When you really, they choose an Illuminati, they got, they do this stupid shit too, I figured out. My own perception. You know, and clairvoyantly, I already saw that point to be particularly ridiculous. I mean, you vote for a guy to run your United States, your country, a guy. A guy, though, a guy. Lo and behold, if you ever have a woman, this is my thing that I'm getting on. You ain't ready for it. I put my foot down. Ain't no way you gonna have a woman not be a fucking president. You get me? Think about it. Hmm? She'd change this whole thing up, wouldn't she? You knew that. You always been asking for it, so you know who's a vice president? Yeah, boy, Harris. All right, Harris. Uh, -huh. yeah, we got something going. So Biden's like, yeah, we got it under control. No, you really, he, she's telling you, no, you don't. But she's running your ass. So that's the funny part about it, and I'm laughing at y'all from the back. You don't see me though. I'm here. You get me? I'm here. I'm the prince and king of peace, guardian of the universe, guardian of the galaxy. I'm a black man. I'm an Egyptian, native to this land. I run this shit. I'm a king, Egyptian pharaoh. I'm Anubis, for real. You didn't know that. Um, more about me, time traveler. Huh? So, they think they, think they got humanity good. They don't got humanity good. No, they don't. We've already won the war. Black people, all this stuff we're doing, we already won. Thing is, you ain't catch up yet. So, you can snooze, you lose. Sorry. <laughs> you get me? Bye. Now, what's going to happen to the next presidential candidate? We're rooting for another guy. Come on, man. Come on, man. Are you sure you want to toughen up to the United States of America? Live free and die young. Yellow. We do it every day. Or do you want to have a land of the free and a country full of assholes? Uh, that's free for all and Call of Duty. Do you want to have pirates on a ship? Or do you want to have bottom dwellers sucking on your shoe every time you take a sip and you go rush to the bathroom? And you say, get these barnacles off my boot. I mean, that's what happened in the 17s, the, the 1700s, and the, that was in the past. Come on. Think about Atlantis. Are you serious? Are you serious? Think about Atlantis. Think about the past. You know what would happen before. The past can tell from the, fret, the present. The future already knows the past and the present has something to do with something predictable. The future is unknown. You don't know that. How well, if you do, you do. You know, you know. I'm from the future. Boom. He's like, he knows too much. Shut him down. You can't kill me. I'm a god. Black man own rights. A black man's right is to know thyself. Not read a freaking book by a white guy. Non-racist shit. No joke. I am Christ, nigga. You talk about a motherfucker white nigga talking about he on the fucking crucifix? And you got, you got, a, you got a crown of a thorn? It's a halo. You can't touch my angel halo, dog. You get your hands burned. Touch a hot stove, my nigga. So, hands on. Run them hands up, son. You get me? Think about it. Women will, women will, oh my God, dog. Women will do that. So, I just exposed something. You ain't catch me, though. You couldn't catch me. Car got your, cat got your tongue. You get it? But the car got the gasoline and said, let's go for a ride. <laughs> let's go. Just go, baby. That car can purr, can't she? Yeah. Mm. So with six being said, I just told y'all a nine piece. But you ain't hear me though, hear me? 
Hammy, I got them, uh, what you call, crystals on my keychain. Gimme? What you think them days, them things do? What do you think they do? Tell me about energy and Reiki. Huh? You asking for it. You want to be a healer? Oh, I can heal and do miracles. I can heal the blind. Oh, this is the new age Christ. This is the golden age. What are you fucking talking about, old man? Huh? What do you say? Never mind. What the fuck is he? Nah, man, get the fuck. I'm going to the store. His ass is too old for me to be talking to him. You can never teach a dog new tricks. Old dog. So, why am I thinking my mom taught me that when I was a kid? You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Why not? That's the trick. G-O-D. Son serious, boy. Alright, let's get it. So, now we're going on with this six shit. What I call, you know, those organized in the, the Egyptian occult system. The occult system, the Egyptian occult system, the comedics, the metaphysics, the energy, the Reiki and all that that is appearing at this present day. We've always been doing that shit. The pyramids are a whole landing strip to guide um, mega ships. I'm going to call them mother ships for lack of better terms. To board upon this planet. Catch up. You want to board upon this planet? And you have to take refugees. A refuge. You have to board and land on a planet. And then, you know, you get there. That's where star seeds come in play. Are you a star seed? Are you an indigo children? I mean, child, are you a light bringer? Are you a light being? You know, things of that nature. And they go on rants and things about talking about how much the light is so good. Talk about dark light. That's six. Dark light. <clears throat> I found out and I showed a guy. I said, yo, doesn't the sun look like it's black? He said, yeah, man, look at that shit. You see that too? I said, yeah. Did you notice it's a black sun? The sun isn't yellow. It's black. It's, it's a black sun. You know what's funny? People don't see things the way other people do. So that tells me, and you, I have a unique perception. I, don't, I didn't see it at all. You see my hands, right? They're not moving. I didn't see it at all. Every single thing in a point. You see everything at the pinnacle? When they talk about the pyramid scheme thing, I talk about it too. The, 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 the pyramid thing. It's a pyramid scheme in the world. But a pyramid scheme up above the world, you can unify those to create heaven on earth. They haven't done that yet, so the pyramid is still stuck up here looking like this. The pyramid up here is like this. So it's looking like a, a time. There's time. So now we have future, we have present, and we have um, past. I mean present here and past here. What does that look like to you? I told you I would show you something. Hmm? Looks like an hourglass. You got nothing but time. Get out of my face. Get out my face. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> you get me? Get out of my face, man. Stop. Get the fuck out of my face. Stop looking at me, man. So it's saying, uh, that's what I'm saying. We got nothing but time. How many times has this cat found curiosity just to kill himself and then revive him back because he's satisfied. When you want to talk about Atlantis and Lemuria, you want to bring up uh, Lyra. They are feline beings on the planet. That's why I'm one of them. The Galactic Federation of Light, the Ryan Council are associated and familiarized by feline beings. Lyra had a whole war that got to Earth. We're still finishing the shit. People have forgotten and there's some people that still want to fight with you. And there's people that know the truth and want to wake them up. I'm one of them. I come from a background from Star Star Trek shit. People here on this planet have done the same thing. We're all a bunch of star people. We came to Earth to do some big ass shit. And when we finish, we leave off with a big bang. What do you think the big bang was when it started the whole freaking point of the universe? Exactly the thing I'm talking about. The point. So when God wakes up again... We all we do this the whole thing around. You know how long that takes? An eternity. Ching! Alright, so don't ask me no fucking questions, damn it. I'm God. I'm God. <laughs> don't ask me no more questions, god damn it. Stop asking me questions. You're tying me out, man. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, wait a minute. 
Wait a hold the fuck up. <laughs> oh. So quantum consciousness allows this to happen. You get me? I can be God and be myself one time, and the next time I can be God. Any person from any timeline, I can be my Lyran self right now. All lazy, laid back, trying to flirt with the girls. I can be my Syrian and talk to you straight up with the truth. Wake the fuck up. I can be my, uh, my, uh, previous past lives as an extraterrestrial and doing some other adventurous shit and figuring out the universe. I can do that. I can do a whole bunch of shit. I've been many people, been on other planets. I can go to heaven and get some information back when I actually travel a dream. I don't dream a lot. I like to meditate. That's a nine thing. Get with it. You need to get with the program. Meditation is a key. You see my finger like this. This is just a key. You hold this up. This is a symbol. Subconscious mind breaks it down and say, oh, you're an air sign. So you don't know I'm talking to you as an air sign, but you know that I'm an air sign in some way. And then this weird synchronicity happens between me and you if we're interacting in our experience. And, you know, you bring up some things. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. It's like a normal conversation. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't even know if you're a fire sign or a water sign or air sign. I would have to ask you. So, my, my lifetime being the chosen one, the Christ-like in this form, is an aspect of yourself to let you know, to remind you. Come on, man. We're going to the universe, remember? We're going back to source. We got to come back to heaven. We got to be one again. Don't you want heaven on earth? They said to try, do, try to do it here. You know, try to, let's just try to do it here. They said. Take the they said out and say we said. And this is what we all came here to do. Some people forgot. So when they remember, you wake up and be like, damn. And I be like, man, what the fuck took you so long, man? Man, you took so fucking long, man. I be goddamn 40 years old talking about the same damn thing. Learning ahead of time. Light years ahead of your ass. What the fuck you been doing? So when that happened, I time travel so far, they ass. They don't know what hit them. You get me? That's what presence like. Number six, part six. Six, six, six. So it's nothing evil. Oh, let me break that down. It's not, 666 is a carbon based number of the human um, carbon base. We're, we're carbon based. It's a carbon based planet ecosystem. Plants breathe carbon and exhale oxygen. We do the same thing, but the exact opposite. So I have a bunch of plants in my room. I can show you. Plant over there, greenery, you see that? Let me get a close up. Don't be too scared, it won't bite you. You feel me? Check it out. Look at here. This is my altar. Right? This is Tesla's coil base. This is how to create free energy. Ooh. <coughs> this is what I wanted to show you. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay? I'm going to show you this time travel sequence code. You don't understand it, but when you read it, it kind of makes sense, but you don't know why. Why do you think that is? Hmm? Why do you think that is? Yeah, kind of makes sense, but kind of doesn't. So does this make sense? This freaking pyramid scheme of a freaking New World Order government trying to control people through capitalism and shit? Does that make sense? No. It doesn't make sense why we still go through it. That doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. Absolutely not. So, we remember and we remember and we remember who we're supposed to be and always ever. Speaking all the time and never, never. <laughs> Say what? Never. You get me? You can never say never. All this, if you said never so many times, you could never forget how to say never. <laughs> you get me? So stop lying to yourself and telling yourself, man, people over there lying to themselves and they're like, man, I don't know what you're talking about, man. You're brainwashed. I don't know what you're talking about. What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> it's not like a moron. I'm acting this out because it's real. People sound like that. So, with six being said, that's the key word. You're either brainwashed or you're smart. You're educated or you're dumbed down. You're unintelligent or you're intelligent. 
you're a moron or you're a genius. You get me? Uh, are you, uh, that doesn't, that doesn't count because that's too religious. It's like, are you dirty or, you're, or are you pure? Are you holy or are you wicked? Are you, it's all about duality. So the six and the nine, you got to meet at some point. And at that point, you, you meet it too. You do the two like this, or you can do the two like this. And what do you do with it when you go inside something? What do you do with that? So, that's my thing. You feel me? Women. And I told you I would talk about it. <laughs> Women. Whoa. Whoa, boy. Whoa. Okay. Women is that men, that man kind of, it's a mindset. They think of controlling. They're control freaks. I mean, most women are control freaks. They're too controlling. And you know what it is? Their emotions are strong. So their reality around them, the surrounding the people, anyone, it's almost like they can control you with their, their minds. Or they're basically the strongest when you think about a man being, when, when you think about a man crying, they're the strongest, they're the best at doing that. And when you think about a woman being um, weak, they're the, they're the strongest. So it's that it's that kind of opposite where it's like the six and the nine meets and creates a portal. You can see something, but you can't see much. You just see me holding something up, look like a telescope. So the microverse and the macroverse is existing. The six dimensional perception is when you what I showed you before in the video. Uh, I can just show you now. This video that I showed you at is basically like this. When you simplify, it's like taking the biggest atom and shrinking it down. I don't even know where I'm at. I don't even know where I'm at right now. So, okay, here we go. This is what it looks like. Ha! Ah, okay, ha! Ah, that's what it looks like. Hold it still, steady. Read, look. See? This is the microverse, an atom. This is the macroverse at the below. As above, so below. You get it? See? <sighs> That's what that is. So when I point, I can point at anything I want. Detail. I can draw out the universe and say, okay, I want a sandwich with, um, and then I continue on with that, and then, but I don't want it, so I erase, I erase it with my hand. And that's what that is. You get me? That's having control of, uh, yeah, not control of the universe. It's, it's, it's asking the universe what you want. The universe is always open-eared and open-minded no matter what it'll get you everything you ask for so the way they teach you uh, go to school and work for everything no you can just ask for it you can just totally ask for it and it'll come the thing is people make that work out God works in mysterious ways so they say so let God figure that out why are you Telling me, go get a job and earn all this shit and do all this shit just because you said I have to because I'm living in a world where it demands to be. While God works this shit out and cleans the fucking mess and erases this shit and says, look what you guys are creating. I got to erase what you just did. And then you come back to the source again and it was like, what did you see? You ask yourself that question. And when you come back to life, you go back to Earth, you're like, damn, I done messed it up. So you just start over. It's not scary as much as you think. You're just learning. Oh, my hair's my head. I gotta go. I don't like it when it gets too hot and when I'm on a roll. But it hurts my head. I get getting a headache and shit. I'm hurting. I'm, I'm talking too low. This is six dimensional. So I already got the point. I'm turning you up. All right. Get ready for seven. Seven coming out. Who?